hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to upgrade the citrix infrastructure delivery controllers from uh, 1912 uh, cu6 to 2203 cu2 lts servers lts version so uh, if you go to this uh, url you can see the system requirement for the 2203 uh, version uh, for the citrix delivery controller so what is the ram size we need to have uh, what is the uh, sql server version we need to have and what is the version of Citrix license server we need to have before going for the upgrade and also hypervisor version. So if, if you go to this URL, you will uh, come to know what is the specific uh, requirement we need to have before going to the upgrade. Okay, so first uh, before going to the upgrade delivery controller, we need to take backup of the uh, Citrix site. So this is our database server which is running on uh, SQL server uh, 2019. So which is compatible with the uh, 2203 uh, Citrix uh, delivery controller. So I am going to take the backup of these three database uh, before going to the uh, delivery controller upgrade. If anything goes wrong, we can restore the database. So this is the location where uh, we are going to keep the backup file. Okay, next Okay, we have taken backup for uh, three database. Also, we have Citrix license version uh, 11.70.2, build version uh, 4, 000, sorry, 40,000. So in the double two zero three Citrix uh, ISO file, we have the same version of Citrix license server. So we are not going to upgrade the Citrix license. If it is less than that, we need to upgrade the Citrix license server. Now we are not going to upgrade the Citrix license server. Now, before going to the uh, delivery controller upgrade, we need to take snapshot of the delivery controller. Already, I have taken the uh, snapshot for the controller. We have two controller. In the two controller, I have taken backup. Sorry, snapshot. Now, I am going to uh, test the VDA access before going to the upgrade. This is we need to do like uh, we need to consider as a pre checks before going to the upgrade. We need to check. So after the upgrade, again we need to check the VDA access, that is the post validation of the upgrade. Just launch the desktop once, we will see whether it is accessing or not. Okay, we can able to access the desktop. Now we are going to upgrade the one of the delivery controller. So just close this console. Just open the ISO file. So we are going to upgrade from 1912CU6 to uh, 2203CU2. So I am ready to continue. You need to uh, read out all the steps before going for the upgrade and you need to take necessary action. Okay. So this version is not supported anymore in the current version. You can uh, check it once. Actually, we have installed a Citrix Director also in this server. So while upgrading the delivery controller, Director also will upgrade automatically. Uh, 
actually i have installed the bda because in the current version this app disk is, app disk is not supported that's why it's asking whether you want to remove or not you just click ok to remove it so it will take some time for the upgrade once it's done uh, we can go for the secondary delivery controller upgrade so upgradation has completed launch studio once and then check the uh, version in the Sotrix studio also you can check in the control panel just refresh it so our delivery controller and director has upgraded to double two zero three ltsr c u2 Okay, click start automatic site upgrade. You should have the access for the uh, DB access. Uh, so for this account, uh, I have access. If you don't have access, you need to have that uh, DB access account while upgrading the site. Okay, site upgrade has completed. Click close. You just go to the version. Here you can see double two zero three community update two. So because why we are getting this error uh, like a warning kind of things so we have two controller in this side we need to upgrade other controller as well so that uh, this sign symbol will go away okay we'll go to other controller we'll start the upgrade just close the console Also, you can validate the director once because in this server we have director role also. Just validate once. Sorry. Okay, director is working fine. You can see there is no alert. Okay, now we need to upgrade a secondary delivery controller. So upgradation is completed, just click next. Just launch the studio.
also connect to storefront server I will uh, validate the VDI access once Okay, click start the automatic site up upgrade. Okay, site upgrade, sorry, controller upgrade has completed. Okay. Now check the version of the controller. So, double two zero three and the community update too. So, director also upgraded. Uh, just open the director. Okay, director is accessing fine so all are green so no issue with the Citrix infrastructure Then now try to access the uh, desktop post uh, this controller upgrade so this is storefront load balancer URL first try to access the internal URL and then gateway URL Okay, internal URL is working fine. Launch the VDA also. Okay, just close this one. Try to launch from gateway URL. So from both the URL, uh, video is launching fine. 